Hey everybody and welcome to this tips and tricks video. My name is David Hiddeman, the application specialist for the steel segment at Trimble. And today I want to talk about a kind of little used tool. It's been around for a while, um, but we get questions about it from time to time. And I thought I would make this video to help some folks out. Um, that tool is the project status visualization tool. And really what this tool allows me to do is to visualize statuses of, of uh, objects based on a review date. So I can actually step through time and we can colorize the model based on different statuses. So in the case of a, a fabricator, for example, you have planned fabrication dates and then you have actual fabrication dates. Maybe you want to color the model to see when those dates are and, and how far we've progressed. For a detailer, maybe the same thing except for detailing dates. So that's the example that I'm going to use today. You can use a lot of different things, but I'm just going to be using some simple UDAs in this example. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and close this down. And I want to go ahead and start modifying the UDAs of some of these parts. And actually, I'm going to be working at the assembly level. Um, so I've opened up the steel assembly UDA. I'm going to go to the, the design and detailing tab. And we're going to have this planned detailing end. So I'm going to come in here. And uh, let's say that I today is uh, July 11th, so I'm going to say that I have a part of the building that needs to be done by the 15th. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of window select um, a bay here and grab some of those parts. Looks like it accidentally grabbed a couple of members here. Let me go ahead and deselect that assembly and these two assemblies. Um, so I've got that first sort of, you know, sequence or whatever uh, selected. So we're going to modify uh, based on that UDA. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the next bays here. So let me just sort of carefully try to window select some of these things. We'll grab those columns. Again, look like I'm grabbing like a poor stop on the back side of the building. So let me go ahead and deselect that. We're not going to need that right now. Um, but you can keep going through this, you know, obviously, and just keep selecting members. I'll do one more bay. So let's, let's do this one for the 22nd. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the final or the third group here. Let's tr sort of carefully try to window some, select some stuff here and here and there. All right. So I've got that third bay now. We're going to say that needs to be detailed by the 29th. Okay. And again, this could be anything. I'm just doing the planned detailing end. So we're going to modify and, uh, and apply that UDA finally. So we've got three different um, kind of bays, three different sequences or, or groups that we need to uh, have completed by a certain day. And I want to visually show that um, in the model. So what I can do is go to the project status visualization. And here you can see we've got some basic dates uh, currently being shown, you know, kind of the beginning of the year. Depending on your version, you might show a different year here. Uh, but I'm going to change my review date to, um, let's see, let's go to July and let's open that up again. We'll go with July 8th because I want to sort of step a week at a time. So starting uh, last Friday, I'm going to say, let's step forward seven days. Um, and then you can actually set a scale for where you want this to start and end. I'll just do the same thing. Let's say I want to do July, uh, July 8th, and we'll end on, um, go back here up a little bit. We'll end on, say, uh, August 5th. Okay, so you know I have a scale set, but now we need to define the colorization rules or, or what we want to actually see here. So I'm going to go into the object representation and click edit. And there we can see the current object rep, which you can also access by double clicking in the model view background. So right now I'm showing an object rep for, um, you know, some different objects should be colored different ways. We do already have a couple of 4D options in here uh, that you can sort of use as a starting point, like this fabrication planning. If I load that real quickly, you can see we've got assembly shop, actual, let me make that wider, actual fab date issued to shop and planned fab date. So there are some examples uh, in here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and let's delete all of those. And I'm just going to start here from scratch. So I'm going to add two rows in the first row. I want to say, okay, what are we filtering for? So I'm going to be filtering for that UDA. So I'm going to go ahead and say we're filtering for an assembly bit of data. We're uh, searching for the planned uh, detailing end. And I'm going to say that it's going to uh, be earlier than or equal to our review date. Okay, so earlier than or equal to whatever. Um, let's see, we'll do the review date. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and save this. Let's save this as um, detailing uh, schedule. Okay, so we'll save that. 
and I'm gonna close that filter. So we've got this new object group called detailing schedule. And I'm gonna say, I want this to be uh, colored blue. Sure, why not blue? <laughs> and then everything else, I want it to be colored sort of a, a light transparent gray, okay? So we'll call this uh, 4D detailing review or you call it detailing schedule review or something like that. So I'll save that and we'll see if we have those two things set. So let's go ahead and modify that and say, okay. And so here we can see that we've got our current date, the date start and the date end, okay? And it's right now I have this option to refresh the view automatically, but the first time you usually do have to go ahead and hit refresh. So if I hit refresh, you can see how the whole model has turned gray because right now it's before that review date. So if I start stepping forward in time, let's say I step forward seven days, you can see that that's what we plan on having done on the 15th. And if I step forward again, you can see that we've got the next group that's done by the 22nd. And if I step forward one more time, you can see that that third group illuminates. And then if you need to stair step back, you can do so. Okay, so there we've got our plans. But what if I also wanted to use this to uh, keep track of what's actually happening, okay? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna uh, change this back and let's, I'm um, gonna load, load something different. Well, I'm loading the same one. We'll load back to standard again, just sort of refreshing my representation. All right, so let's come in here now and, uh, and start adding some actuals, okay? So I'm gonna grab uh, a couple of columns here and um, let's go ahead and actually I should have opened the user defined attributes first. Let's grab those again. So I'll grab those, we'll go to the detailing status and I'll say that the actual detailing end is today, the 11th for those columns, okay? And then we're gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna rotate the model a little bit. Let's grab a couple more columns here and we're gonna say that this is done on the 12th. And then we're gonna grab some beams. Beams are pretty easy to detail, right? So we're gonna come through and grab some of these beams. I'll just grab all the way back to the bay. We'll grab this outside one here and here and here and here, okay? We'll make those for the 13th. And then I'll grab these guys here. And I'll just do this for a couple more. I don't wanna go and spend too much time reiterating the same thing. Uh, maybe I wanna grab some of these little columns out here. Again, I'm just sort of randomly grabbing stuff, but you would keep track of um, actual you know, dates and times. So we'll say by the 14th. Okay, so now I've got UDAs applied for a scheduled planned finish date and then an actual finish date. So let's go back in to my project status visualization and I'm gonna edit this 40 uh, detailing review. So let's go ahead and load that. So I've got the scheduled detailing. So I'm gonna add another row and I'm gonna move this up to, to sort of govern. And um, we need to build a filter that will find stuff that's actually done. So let's change this to an assembly category and we'll say the property is the um, actual detailing end. And then again, equals or say, I'll say before or earlier than or equal to. And again, we'll choose the, uh, the review date. Okay, so actual detailing end. So I'll just call this actually detailed and save that, okay. So actually detailed, let's color that green. Detailing scheduled is blue. I'm gonna save this as my detailing review. I move that up to the top because that's kind of the more critical color. This, is, this does work in a sort of top-down fashion and I wanna get the most important thing is what's actually done versus what's scheduled to be done. Um, so let's go ahead and close this and I'm going to change my review date back to the eighth and we'll say refresh. Okay, so now we've got everything green again. And if I, if I simply step forward seven days, you'll see that we can see both the blue of what's supposed to be done and then the green what's actually done. But if I, if I change this back, let's change this to one day. I can actually stair step through the days. So this is a weekend, so nothing's happening there. But on the 11th, we've finished those columns. And if I step to the 12th, Looks like I might have mixed, missed a date there. I skipped ahead to the 13th. So now I've got some parts there. And if I skip ahead to the 14th, even more shows up. So we're actually seeing, okay, now when I get to the 15th, I get to Friday. You can see in blue, that's what I was supposed to have done. But so far, I've only got the stuff in green done. So, you know, I'm obviously building a very quick sort of filter here and, and setup. 
but hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do to step forward through time for planned and actual dates. Now, if I wanted to see that blue the whole time, I could change my filters up. I could change the rules of those filters, you know, and, and see, okay, I want to see the stuff in blue ahead of time as I'm approaching that date. Um, you don't have to have things shown in gray like this. If you wanted to simply have the model uh, missing or, or gone so that you wanted to see something that's a little bit more, um, I would say, for like an erection schedule. If you want to see things show up in the model as new and have no grayed out members, you can do that too. Um, so this is just one example. And I actually have another video um, that I had done as part of our uh, virtual base camp last fall. And in that, I showed pairing this with erection planning. So, you know, I've mentioned fabricators and detailers, but also erectors can use this function. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. If somebody wants to see this used with our crane tools, with other planning tools for erection, um, you can go ahead and watch that video as well. But I just wanted to give a real quick overview, kind of get you thinking about the possibilities of this tool. Um, obviously, if, if you have trouble setting it up, because I did go very quickly, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to support, feel free to reach out to me, and we can get you set up with this um, to whatever it is that you're trying to track. So thank you for joining me, um, and we will see you next time uh, with the tips and tricks video.